I see you are U.S. citizens, is that correct? Yes. Okay. His CFA was already completed, Mr. Wartheim. Okay. Thank you very much, Your Honor, and we're prepared to proceed. Your Honor, the state moves to withdraw the motion to detain. The state would ask that he place, be placed on level three release. He is to have no contact with, his vic with the victim, who is his brother, and he is to have no weapons. They uh, apparently they do they don't live in the same house. Is that correct? They were living in the same house, I believe, Your Honor. The um, brother, I believe, oh. the brother, the one that was the victim, um, was uh, temporarily, I think, placed a uh, or seen by Cherry Hill um, Mental Health, but he might be back there. So this defendant's going to have to find another place if that's the case, another place to live. What's the victim's name? I'm not sure, Your Honor. I have to go in with your, with, um, clearly the... Jasmine, do, do you have the information? I mean, I don't have the information in front of me. I only have Timothy Dow's. Um, only mo he's the only argument. I was trying to find it, but I didn't want to flip the screen. Jasmine? Yeah, I'm going to try to see if I can get it. So, do you have another place to live if you can't go home to your house? Uh, I have a few people I can contact, uh, my stepmother and my grandfather. All right, you're going to need to make sure that you have a place to live because you can't be in the same place as your brother. You understand that, sir? Yeah. That's a condition of your release. Yes. We're trying to, do you know your, what your brother's name is? Um, it's Isaac, Isaac. Wilcox. Say it again. Isaac, I-S-A-A-C. B. Wilcox. W I L C O X. Okay, sir. That's, I guess that's what you were trying to say at the same, we're talking at the same time. Right? Isaac Wilcox, your brother? Yes. Okay, and you were living in the same home at the time that this incident occurred? Yes. And you do have another place you need to, before you're even released, you need to make sure you have a place to go and you need to give that information to pretrial services. Do you understand that, sir? That's a condition yes. of your release. Yes. Do you, have any, do you have any questions? No. Okay. Uh, this is the matter of State versus John Fraser, and this is under warrant 2024-29 out of 0415. Uh, the, sorry, somebody say something. Okay. The court finds that releasing the defendant on his own recognizance or an execution of an unsecured appearance bond would not reasonably assure the defendant's appearance in court when required, the protection of the safety of uh, any other person or the community, and that the defendant will not obstruct or attempt to obstruct the criminal justice process. And therefore, I am ordering the defendant release subject to non-monetary conditions as follows. Shall report to pretrial services telephonically every week. Uh, once the um, stay-at-home ban is lifted, you'll be reporting um, in person every other week. But for now, I believe that pretrial services every week on level three telephonically. Is that correct? That is correct, Your Honor. Okay. So you must report every week to pretrial services telephonically. You must not commit any offense during the period of release. You must appear for all scheduled court proceedings. You must immediately notify pretrial services of your address, telephone number, and any contact information. You must notify the court immediately in writing if you are detained in jail or prison or otherwise cannot appear at a court proceeding. If you fail to report to a court proceeding and are arrested in another state, you agree to waive all rights to extradition under New Jersey state statutes and the demanding state statutes in regards to extradition law. Failure to appear, violation of any of the conditions of release, which include no contact with the victim, Isaac B. Wilcox, and all of the other conditions that I've stated. The um, obtaining of a restraining order or the commission of another crime may result in the following penalty. An issuance or a warrant for your arrest, increasingly restrictive conditions, a revocation of your release, a forfeiture of any monetary bail, 
and possible detention. Do you understand, sir? Yes. All right. You are to report to the, um, you're to report telephonically to pretrial services tomorrow morning, April 9th, by 9 a.m. And you're to report to court uh, for your pick date on May 20th, 2020. You understand, sir? Yes. You're going to get a copy of everything that I just said. You're going to get a copy of your order, of your re order of release. It goes over all the conditions, which include no contact with the victim. You understand what the violation of the conditions are, and um, you'll be released later today. Is that correct? Yes. Monica. Yes. yes okay. Ma Anything else? No, thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wertheimer? Oh, well, thank you, Judge. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. I have Kesey for you. Are you ready? Yes. yes. We're ready. Your Honor, if I could just briefly address Mr. Kesey before we go on the proceed. Sure. That, did we have a CFA already, Your Honor? Yes. Thank you, Judge. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Mr. Kesey, my name is Brad Wertheimer. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I'm with the Public Defender's Office. Uh, you were in court yesterday, I assume. Uh, the prosecutor has agreed to release you. Uh, I'm sorry, you broke out. Do, do you have the, Do you have the door closed to the booth, Mr. Kesey? Um, not. It's like it's closed, but not all the way. All right. Well, got, it's difficult to hear. Is it possible to close it all the way? Yeah. Okay. Got it. All right, okay. Mr. Wertheimer. Thank you. So, Mr. Kesey, you're going to be released today. The judge will instruct you as to what you need to do upon your release. You're going to get a court date in writing today. Your court date will not be coming in the mail, so don't expect to receive something in the mail. Make sure you come to court on the day that the judge gives you today, all right? You don't need to speak today because you're going to be released. And okay, we'll be in touch with you later after you're released, okay? I'm getting released today, you said? Yes. Uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay. All right. This is the matter of State versus Joshua Keithy, under warrant 2020-430-0415. Counsel? Brad Wertheimer on behalf of Mr. Keithy. Karen Dietz on behalf of the state. Ms. Dietz. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, the state moves to withdraw its motion to detain this defendant. The state is going to ask that he be placed on level three. He is to have no oh. contact with Morgan Nelio. And he is to possess no weapons during his release. Can you spell the last name, Morgan? Yes. M-O-R-G-A-N-N-I-E-L-I-O. Oh. N-E-I-L-I-O. I'm sorry. N-E-I-L-I-O? Yep. That's it. Okay. I'm sorry. Is this a female or a male? <laughs> female. Intimate partner was the way it was described. Okay, so it's a female, sir? Yes. Okay, so this is your a girlfriend? Yes, mother of my child, yes. Okay, were you living together prior to this incident? Yes. Okay, do you have some place to go because you can't go back there? Yeah, 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 I have a place to go, yes. Okay, um, and you're sure that that place is, uh, that you can go there? Yeah, I can give you the address, too, if you like. Well, you can give us the address because pretrial services needs it. So we'll take the address and phone number. Um, not sure about the phone number off the top of my head, but I know the address. Okay. It's 140-140-1400. Uh, okay. Uh, Isabella Road. Or is it, it's either Isabella Road or Lane. I think it's Isabella Road. Um... Elverson, PA. I'm not sure what the zip code though. Okay. Do you have a phone? Uh, do you have a cell phone number where we can reach you? I do have a cell phone, but I just got it, so I'm not sure. The, I'm not exactly sure of the number, but as soon as I get out, I can get it and. Send it to wherever it needs to go. Um, I'm guessing pre-trial. As I, when I explain the conditions of your release, you're going to need to take care of that first thing tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Um, no problem. Anything else? No, sir. No, ma'am. Continue. No, thank you, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, on the matter of State versus Joshua Kesey, the court finds that releasing this defendant on his own recognizance or on an execution of an unsecured appearance bond would not reasonably assure the defendant's appearance in court when required. The protection of the safety of any other person or the community and the defendant will not obstruct or attempt to obstruct the criminal justice process. Therefore, the court is ordering the defendant released subject to non-monetary conditions set forth as follows. You shall report to pretrial services every week telephonically. And first time you're going to do so is tomorrow morning telephonically by 9 a.m. You shall not commit any offense during the period of release. You must appear for all scheduled court proceedings. You immediately notify pretrial services of your address phone number and any other contact information. You are to have no contact with Morgan Nelio, N-E-I-L-I-O. And that means no contact, no third party contact, no phone calls, no social media, no contact at all. Do you understand, sir? Understood. You're to have no weapons. These all, all of these conditions that I just stated to you or in lieu of what we used to call bail, a monetary bail, where you'd have to pay money to get out. You don't have to do that anymore, but it's the same thing. You violate any of these conditions and you could be arrested because this is your quote unquote bail. These are your conditions. Do you understand, sir? Sure. Okay. You must notify the court immediately in writing if you are detained in jail or prison or otherwise cannot appear at a court proceeding. Fail to appear at a court proceeding and you're arrested in another state, you agree to waive all rights to extradition proceeding under New Jersey statute and the demanding state statute in regard to extradition law. Failure to appear, violation of any of the conditions that I just mentioned, the obtaining of a restraining order or the commission of a new crime will result in the following penalties and consequences. An issuance of a warrant for your arrest, increasingly restrictive conditions, a revocation of your release, forfeiture of any monetary bail, and possible detention. You understand, sir? Understood. You are to call pretrial services tomorrow morning by 9 a.m. You'll receive the phone number on your order of release today, and you're to report to court for your PIC uh, conference on May 20th, 2020. Again, you're going to receive all that information in the form of an uh, order which states all your conditions upon your release today. Do you have any questions? No. Excuse me, Your Honor. I believe, yes. this, was, I believe this was downgraded and this is going to get a VRO date. However, we don't have a date at this moment. We'll provide one to the message to get a date. Okay, so he will not be coming back on May 20th. He'll be given a VRO date. Okay, so me, you have to make sure that you have the information that you give pretrial services the proper information because we're going to be sending notice there. And if you don't show up in court, we're gonna, you're gonna, I'm gonna issue a bench warrant for you. You understand, sir? Understood. Well, I, um, um, uh, uh, she said down. I, 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 I heard downgraded something, but it kind of got. I'm not sure what she said exactly. It's a violation of a restraining order, which means that you come back on a different date other than the date that I gave you for the criminal offense, which was May 20th. Oh, so the date is okay. Yeah. Excuse me? Okay. So, again, do you have any questions, sir? You understand exactly what I said? Yep. Anything else, counsel or pretrial services? No, yeah, thank you, Your Honor. clarify with Mr. Kesey. Mr. Kesey, your matter is not going to be criminal court is going to be held in family court. Right now, we, we do not have a court date, so they won't, your pretrial monitoring service will let you know when you have to appear in family court. Do you understand? Got it. Yes? Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too.
Your Honor, the final matter is Timothy Dale. Uh, I wasn't aware he's on the list. I do have Ms. Dietz's uh, exhibits, but I haven't had an opportunity to review them. Uh, would it be possible to go off the record or at least to uh, for me to go off the record for a few minutes? Um, yeah, uh, um, who's, who's running this, this uh, Zoom courtroom? Monica, are you running it? Hi, Your Honor. I'm running the Zoom. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi. Uh, Hi. Hi. Can can we go um, off the record? Wait one second, sir. Uh, can we go off the record and come back on to this room? Because I believe we have this room for an hour. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So can we do that? Uh, I believe yes. Well, we right. can just keep it open, right? We can keep it open. Keep the meeting open. I'm just going to uh, move my video and... and uh... Okay. Okay, I was advised to just kill the, the live stream. Sorry? I was advised to, to just stop the, the, the stream. Stop the live stream. Yeah, I was advised to do that, so I'll do that.